What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming bringing you a down to my video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War and it is Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, yes, it's Friday. That's right. Uh, we are talking about the Witch King here in Season 4 roleplay with the Gundabad Tier 4 Warlord units. That is the video for today. So, let's get right into it. The Gundabad Tier 4 units are super duper sick nasty. They have one of the highest damage outputs in the game per command. There is only a few units that have higher damage than the Warlords, okay? Um, the one thing to note is the Warlords do deal physical damage, so they will be mitigated by things like defense and physical damage reduction. However, to help them counter that, Warlords have the unlimited power bonus, which lets them bypass up to 50% of the target's defense, which is going to really help them slap pretty 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 hard okay um, this is very powerful especially when you combine it with units like crushers that will just statically reduce enemy defense value okay now these guys have pretty good HP at 90 HP per command uh, that's very very high that basically be like an infantry unit with 45 HP per uh, per unit in the command if there's a hundred command the defense is super duper low their defense is terrible their speed is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Cannot stress that enough. Their speed and defense are, uh, is absolutely disgustingly terrible, okay? <laughs> but uh, the nice thing is they have crazy high damage and good HP, and they have the ability when the enemy has both a melee and a range unit on the field, the Warlords have the ability to attack Two different units they all attack a one melee unit and then it'll also attack a range unit okay which is probably what happened in this report so gear wise this is just some pretty standard stuff some plus attack here some plus attack here right i didn't uh go with the report where the units are insanely disgustingly geared i wanted to show you guys a nice balanced report on a on a relatively free to play witch king okay uh relatively free to, free to play witch king here so, the troop composition is mainly Urukai with the Warlords. I would recommend a slight improvement here. Um, I would potentially drop the Berserkers and grab Crushers to give that defense reduction ability, uh, which is very, very strong when paired with Warlords defense bypass ability. Okay. Now, against the enemy Theoden, this Theoden has slightly better gear. He is a couple of levels lower. Level 44 versus level 40, a little bit better gear. So it's not quite apples to apples, but it's still a pretty good comparison of how these units will play out, all right? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's actually a... That's a really strong ability from Dawn. Wow. Okay. Some good defense here from Scale Mail. Some good defense from Horseman's Helm. We have some uh, healing from Harp. So his cataphracts probably have disgusting defense, which they do. They have plus 25 defense from the gear, okay? So um, the cataphracts are going to be disgusting and able to really absorb a lot of damage from those warlords. Let's see how this played out in the actual fight, folks. So damage-wise, you can see the warlords did the majority of the damage output here. The berserkers and the alchemists didn't quite uh, keep up because the warlords are disgusting, all right? Um, for Theoden, really his cataphracts probably lived the longest and looks like they dealt the most damage, okay? How did this actually play out? That's a good question. Let's see how strong these warlords are, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. Warlords, they use Witch King's Shroud from his chest and dodge the first attack. The Berserkers coming with a double attack. The Alchemist double attack. And then the Warlords with a double attack, which actually looks like a quadruple attack because they're hitting two targets. Look at that, guys. That is crazy. So here we are at about 30,000 damage, 31,000 damage times two. So they've now put out about 62,000 damage here in round one with the Warlords. That is physical damage, guys, against Cavaliers, Cataphracts, and Bonites. So here you can see they are punching the Cataphracts in the face. Then they are uh, striking the range units behind them, okay? Beautiful. That is so beautiful. Here we go with another 
Another quadruple hit, ladies and gentlemen. Another 30,000 damage, plus or minus, coming out the wings here on both hits for another 60k. The Warlords here in the first two rounds with Witch King have now dealt somewhere around 120 to 125,000 damage. That is pretty substantial. Okay. Going into round three, we lose a double strike in the initiative. Still hitting for 30,000. The Bow Knights are almost dead at this point, so going into round four, we're going to see their damage drop off because there won't be that many Bow Knights left. We're going into round five, I should say. Oh, my goodness. There's only a 48 Bow Knights left, guys. These guys are just shredding. They are shredding. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So here in round six, here in round six, ladies and gentlemen, we still have 1,600 Warlords left. They have no more enemy... Uh, no more enemy Bonites, so no more double strike, but still pretty solid damage against Cataphracts. The Cataphracts, right, reduce the damage that they receive quite substantially. This, these ones are only level 5, um, but they're still reducing their melee damage by 7.5%, with another 5% damage mitigation there. So that's 12.5% damage mitigation, even at only uh, upgraded to level 5. So that's a pretty substantial amount of damage. Uh, mitigation, and then a pretty substantial amount of actual damage output. For the build, I don't think we looked at the build, guys. I think this is a free-to-play, you know, Respect 1 or Respect 2 Witch King, so he doesn't have points to go into the R5 tree. However, I would suggest... Um, let me pull out my own Witch King here. Hang on a second. I would suggest if you are going to run that build and you are Respect 5, I would suggest you max out Black Captain, 29 out of 29. Uh, and then you're going to run down here to the Lord of Minas Morgul. You're going to max out this whole tree at 29 out of 29, uh, which will get you to uh, where you have two or three points left over. Uh, once you have that three points left over, you can drop down and either put two points in Ring Wraith, one point in Morgul Poison just to get that stacking debuff, uh, or you can go down and put three points in Lord of the Nazgul. But the Lord of the Minas Morgul, if you can throw some Fel Beasts into that march, it's going to drastically reduce the enemy commander stats. Um, but most importantly, it's going to give you Chaotic Retreat for your Warlords, which is going to reduce their defense, enemy defense, by 30, uh, 35, which is going to pair extremely well with the Warlord's defense bypass because those can stack, right? So if the enemy only has 50 defense... You're reducing their defense by 35. The Warlords are reducing their defense by another, or they're bypassing another 25. They're now hitting targets at zero defense, and they're essentially attacking unmitigated, okay? And then Dishearten is very, very strong. This is going to really help your Warlords stay alive with a 21% damage reduction uh, for the enemy's output, okay? So that is the video, ladies and gentlemen. I love you all a long time. Happy Friday. Witch King with Warlords. Randy out.